Hi dear learners, today in this video we are going to learn how to write a So with the advent of email and modern technology, the concept of writing letters has taken a back set but the style persists and the people use it while writing emails. Drafting letters demand meticulous attention. One should be careful about what is being written, following on some objectives of letter writing. A letter bridges communication gap between two or more parties. Letter can create awareness, inform or provoke a thought in receiver or mass. A well-written letter is a good way to express one's feeling. A heartfelt letter acts a personal memory and may be preserved by the types of letter. Letters are categorized into two types, informal letter and formal letter. Informal letter, these are also known as personal letter, usually written to family, friends, relatives, neighbors or to acquaintances. These letters may or may not have concrete reason of writing. They may be written just to share an experience, inquiry about someone and how about updating someone with the general incidents etc. Formal letters, these letters are written to discuss business, apply for services, make a request, file or register compliance etc. So sender address is the mailing address of the sender. So these are the uh, upcoming events are the uh, part of letters. The first and major point is the sender's address. The sender's address is the mailing address of the sender. It is an essential part of both formal and informal letter. So it is also known as the written address and is acts, acts as a backup address in case the letter gets damaged or unaccepted. So in a line one, you have to mention the designation of the sender. Second, in the second line, name of the organization. Third line, building name, area, street, etc. And the fourth line, state or town. And the fifth line, country. And sixth line, reference number. Here I have given the model. Kindly look into it. So the next part is so after the sender's address, you have to mention the date. Succeeding the space after the returner's address comes the date which the letter is written or sent. One may opt any format out of two stated below to record the date. Either you can mention as a DD MMYY or you can use the format of MMDDYY. Get a look at look at the glance of the model given here so after that you have to put the receiver's address it is the corresponding address of the person to whom the letter is being sent it is placed after so as same like the sender's address you have to put name of the official or personal title name of the organization building number state or area state or town and the country Look at the example is given here. So next subject. A subject determines the purpose of writing in the brief. It helps the recipient to deal successfully with the aim of your letter. It is presided with the word subject and is placed directly after the receiver's address. It is a part of formal business letter which are written either in reference to an earlier in reference to the earlier correspondence or to someone who the sender is usually in contact. You must have written a subject at least once a while applying for a leave consents, filing a filing a complaint, excluding all deals, etc. It should clear, concise, not more than 10 minutes. Salutation. The salutation is a customary greeting to the recipients of the letter. It varies depending upon the intimacy or relationship between the sender as well as the receiver. It is usually begun with the word dear followed by the title Miss, Mrs, Mr, Doctor. If you know the name, you can mention there. In case the gender and the name of the recipients is not known, you must address the person as a dear sir slash dear ma madam. You may greet the receiver as dear or dearest, followed by the first name or the nickname. Body. So body of the letter is very, very important. It can set be the designed of the journey as it leaves the reason behind your writing. It includes the message the sender wants to convey. 
while the body of a personal letter can be long and detailed containing as many feeling experience advices news etc on a personal front built a formal letter so it is best use short clear logical paragraph to state your subject there can be three sub parts of the body of the formal letter drafting as the follow introductory paragraph stating the main point middle paragraph justifying the importance or need of writing the supporting points and a concluding paragraph restarting the purpose and requesting for the some action be sure skip a line between the salutation and introductory paragraph and also between the concluding paragraph and closure margin must be left on all four sides of the letter it creates attractive appearance for your letter so concluding lines it comes at the end of the body of the letter being a new paragraph it is determined by writer's relation with the addressee for friends you you can mention it uh, with regards for parents with love and respect you for young relatives with love or best wishes or you can write at the with best wishes for official letter you should write thanking you or uh, with regards signature line so it is the last part of the letter where the sender signs off with his or her first and last name the signature line may also include a second line in formal letters for the title or post of the sender appropriate so quick glance at the steps for letters for informal letters send us address date salutation content required can be long concluding lines complimentary closure and signature line for formal letters sender's address date receiver's address subject salutation uh, con content specific to the point concluding lines complimentary closure signature along with the designation address on the envelope so address on the envelope is uh, important for those person who write letter it is not part of the letter addressing properly in the cover of envelope will help you deliver your envelope properly to the designation the picture shows how an address envelope should look like the horizontal lines represent the lines of the address assessment dear students write one formal letter and one informal letter and you have to mail it to my email id thank you students we will meet in the next